Welcome to the Department of Materials Science and Engineering. My name is Dr. Richard Parsons, and over the next few minutes, I'll be talking to you about what you can expect to learn as a Materials Science and Engineering student, what kind of experiences you can look forward to, and what kind of career can you expect once you graduate from Monash University. So what is Materials Science and Engineering? Well, as a material scientist or engineer, you'll study the structure, the properties, the production methods, and the applications of all materials you see around you on a daily basis. This includes things like the metals you find in your car, ceramics and glasses like you find on the screen you're watching this on, composite materials in the aircraft we fly in, polymers in all consumer devices today, nanomaterials and increasingly functional materials like solar panels, batteries and microprocessors. What I personally love about material science engineering is that it's very interdisciplinary. This means that I'm constantly facing exciting new challenges that require that I go speak with other experts in fields such as physics, chemistry, biology and computer science. Let me give you a real world example. Suppose you've graduated from Monash as a material scientist or engineer and you go and work for an exciting new startup that's doing space exploration. Perhaps you're asked to work on the payload, so the part that actually goes to space. In this role, you might work on developing new, lighter, more efficient solar panels or more energy-dense batteries, or perhaps you might develop higher temperature-resistant windows or ablative shielding or more effective sensors. You may also be asked to work on the rocket itself. So here you could be working on new alloys for the titanium grid fins or the high-performance rocket engines. You might be producing new ablative paints or lighter, more efficient tank materials and carbon fibre legs. As a student in the Department of Material Science and Engineering, like all engineering students, you'll undertake a common first year. Here, you'll learn the basic fundamentals of what it is to be an effective engineer. In your second and third years, you'll focus on specialising on materials themselves. You'll gain a deep understanding of what it means to tailor the material properties for different applications right down at the atomic level. In your final year, you'll undertake a full year capstone project. This project enables you to go into the laboratories and work with researchers such as myself or people in industry to develop the skills necessary to work on real world problems and develop the next generation of advanced materials. In our department, we're relatively small. We have typically around 80 students. This is fantastic as it means you'll get to know all of your fellow students and your lecturers on a first name basis. Double degrees are also offered by our department and on average around one quarter of all students undertake a double degree. As an engineering student here at Monash, you have access to all the teams in the university. Many of our materials engineering students choose to join the MATES or Materials Engineering Society, the Monash Young MedTech Innovators Group, where they're developing new innovative technologies to solve health challenges, or the Monash Forge, where you can roll your sleeves up, get dirty, and forge and cast new materials to make new components. You also may take part in the Monash Motorsport Team, which every second year takes part in international competitions. You'll also have access to the Monash Makerspace and our own departmental workshop. Of course, ultimately, the time you spend here at Monash with us is only a small fraction of your career as an engineer or scientist. And so it's important to think ahead about what are your employment prospects and what kind of jobs could you expect. I'm glad to report that over 83% of all engineers who graduate in Australia find full-time employment. And the average wage for a materials engineer is over $107,000. Our materials science and engineering graduates have gone on to work in many different fields, including aerospace, mining, oil and gas, and less conventional fields that you may not think of, such as journalism, finance and biotech. And these jobs have taken them not only all around Australia, but all around the world, to Europe, the Americas and all over Asia. So thank you for joining me today to learn about materials science and engineering, and I look forward to seeing you in our laboratories and in our lecture theatres in the future.